Right, today we're going to start talking about interest in your textbook on page 214. You will find more examples of interest. The most important thing is to understand the difference between compound interest and simple interest. Okay, so I'm going to start with simple interest because compound interest is based on simple interest. So if we take the scenario, Tina forgot to pay the doctor's account, he charges 10% interest per month, how much will she pay after three months? So interest is a percentage of the amount owed. So she owed 560 rand. The interest is 10%, so 10% of, remember 10% is 10 over 100, so 10% of 560 rand is going to be 56 rand. Okay. This is purely the interest. So, in month one, what does she owe? She owes the 560 rand plus 56 rand. I add the two together and I will get 616 rand. Okay, now this, this is where... This is where you start distinguishing between simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest, you pay the same interest per month. So, when I go to month two, I have got 616 Rand plus... What is my interest rate on the amount that she had to pay? That interest rate was 56 Rand. Do you see that we are adding the same amount every month? So all I'm going to do here, if I add those two together, I get 672 Rand. So if she doesn't pay her account for two months, then she has to pay 672 Rand. But remember, your question said she doesn't pay for three months. So let's have a look here. So what is going to happen in month three? You're going to take your 672 Rand and you're going to add the 56 Rand interest that we calculated right at the beginning. And at the end of month three, if she goes to pay her account, she's got to pay 728 Rand. Okay, that is simple interest. You are paying the same amount every month for however many months you don't pay the account. Now, compound interest if you can just remember this, compound interest is, oopsie, is repeated, repeated simple interest. So month one is going to start off the same. So I'm going to use that because I would calculate it exactly the same. So month one, I am still going to get my 560 plus 56, and that is going to still equal my 616 Rand. But the difference starts here. So we're going to have a look. Now look what happens. I'm going to take this amount... And I'm going to take it into month two. Okay. So I take 616 Rand. And now 
I find 10% of 616 Rand. What have I done here? What does this mean? It means I'm finding interest on the amount from the previous month and I'm finding a percentage of that. So I'm finding a percentage of a bigger amount so it is going to be more than my 56 Rand from last month. So this is what it now looks like. So I've got 616 Rand plus 10% of that would be 61 Rand 60. In month two, compare your two interests. Compound interest is more than the simple interest. Now I add those two together and I will get, oh, sorry about that. I will get 677 Rand 60 is my new balance. Now I look for month three. What am I going to pay in month three? Well, what did I tell you? We're going to take this amount into month three. So I'm starting with a bigger amount in month three. If we have a look here, I started with 672. Now I'm going to start with 677. So I take that amount, month three, my starting value is 677.60. I've got to add on the interest, and the interest is 10%, 10 over 100, of the amount owing, which was 677.60. Okay, which is going to equal 677.60 plus 10% of that amount is going to be 67 rand and 76 cents. If I add those two together, I get 745 rand and 36 cents. Okay, so the difference is I take my final amount into the next month. So if this was to carry on for another month, I would take my final amount into month four and I would add 10% of this value. What can you tell me about compound interest versus simple interest? What I'm asking you to do is to look at the final amounts. What do you notice about them? Pardon? Okay, Amy? Okay. Compound interest is always much greater than simple interest. Okay, and why is that? Because you get interest on interest. That is why. Your investments are, you, are using compound interest. Simple interest is for higher purchase. Everything else in reality works on compound interest. Are there any questions? Higher purchase, okay. And HP is when you don't have money or you impatient and you don't want to save. So what you do is a car is for example an HP agreement or a stove or a fridge where you do not pay the full amount when you go and buy it. 
So you pay a little bit, you pay a deposit, and then you pay it off every month. But every month, if you bought something like this that cost you 560 Rand, you would be paying 56 Rand per month interest for as long as you haven't paid it off. That is higher purchase. Okay? Compound interest is what is used in bank accounts.